Sid Zweigbaum with SFMSports.net at the Green Turtle Classic with the victorious head coach from Cabrini, Steve Colfer. Coach, uh, you've had a couple of heartbreakers against top six teams. What did it mean for you guys to get over the hump and get this win tonight? Yeah, it was big. I mean, um, you know, we've, like you said, we had a couple of heartbreakers and they were different ways. You know, I, I said to one of the other guys that uh, Lynchburg was like dying in quicksand. You know, the fourth quarter just it was a slow and steady, methodical comeback from them. And RIT was like the guillotine. You know, we were up two with two minutes to go. And next thing you know, we're walking off the field with a loss. And, you know, how did it slip away? And so you're never sure how the kids are going to respond. Um, and then we had to come home and play a really good Salisbury team. And, and that didn't go well. And we didn't play with a lot of energy. So, um, you know, we had two to good days of practice, you know, yesterday. And, and, and what ended up being yesterday because of the snow and Thursday. And um, they came down here and they just played hard. You know, I mean, Stevenson's obviously a really good team. So. You guys are up 8-3 to three late in the third. You talked about all these uh, games you've had that you've lost in different ways to good teams. When it gets to 8-6 to six with 14-10 to go in the fourth, are you referencing any of that to your team? No, uh, you know, absolutely. We've been here, guys. This <laughs> yeah. is what we have to do differently? Or Well, I think, you know, I think deep down you're th potentially, I mean, I'd lie to you, say mm -hmm. if it's not somewhere in my brain, but each game is its own entity. You know, you have to treat it accordingly, or you'll never get out of that fourth quarter at Lynchburg. You'll never get out of that last five minutes at RIT. So you have to really process that um, in a different way. Um, we talk about when we make those mistakes how we can correct them in practice, and if we're put in a situation to do it again, you know, tonight or tomorrow or next week that we're not going to do that, hopefully, or coach them not to do that, I should say. Um, and we did a little bit better job. We did make a couple mistakes down the stretch, and um, but we were able to overcome them, you know, and that's that was big for us. Your Cavaliers got out to a 5 nothing lead tonight. A, a large part of that was on the defensive yeah. end, the goalie, Tyler Murrell, yeah. made two or three big saves early. Uh, what was it like having a freshman goalie uh, kind of lead you guys out uh, early in the game? Tone setter. I mean, really, I mean, that that's just something, you know, we talked about it as a coaching staff. We need some positive plays early to build off. Um, there's guys on every team in every organization that guys feed off, you know, they're just those guys that draw energy off them when they have a positive play. Some guys are starters, some guys are the guys that come off the bench and they're just, they're one of those kids. And, and Ty's one of those kids. He's just, he's carefree. Um, he's just, he's your, you know, probably your typical goalie, but he just has a, an energy that our guys feed off. And when he makes saves like that, I just think it's contagious. And I, I think that's what kind of triggered our offense and our everything else came off some of those saves he made. Offensively, you guys had three or four situations where you got a one on O, one on the goalie. Uh, how did those plays break down, and how were you able to repeatedly uh, get those golden it, it just opportunities? Just quick ball movement, you know. I mean, just able, you know, we teach kids to you know scoop the ball, get it off the ground, and move it one more, you know, and, and that's our language. Move it one more, move it one more, and, until we can get it to four or five yards off the goal. Um, if you scoop it up and run three or four steps and create a little couple more, you're going to lose those opportunities. So we really try to practice that as much as possible. You know, be get that, get our heads up, get that ball to the one more guy and then he's going to hit it to one more and, and hopefully we end up in front of the goal. And so we were fortunate there. Um, we, our guys made some good looks. They delivered the pass in the right place and we were able to put it away. You guys climbed the mountain tonight with an 8-6 win. How do you Come down and get back up for tomorrow against I don't Nazareth. know. I, I, haven't, I haven't played in a back-to-back -back game since, I think, like a youth Cockeysville tournament back in, uh, you know, the, somewhere in the mid-'80s. Uh, so I, I don't know. It'll be unique. Um, I think, you know, what I heard Paul say is, like, there's not a lot of scouting in the second game. We watched a little film on Naz, but it's just so hard to teach your kids that without them overlooking mm -hmm. tonight's game. So you just kind of mentioned some things, and you just tomorrow is more just like go play, have fun, try to be positive and make some positive plays. And if you do that, you know, we think good things will happen. So we'll do it. The coaching staff will do as best we can. We'll try to get in the kids' ears tonight and tomorrow morning and uh, show up and just play lacrosse. You know, if we do that, I think, you know, we'll be okay. Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Thanks for joining us and Appreciate good luck it. tomorrow. Thanks, man. Thanks. All right, that Appreciate was it. the head coach from Cabrini, uh, Steve Colfer. They win over Stevenson tonight, 8-6. to six. Uh, Thank you for joining us on sfmsports.net at the Green Turtles Classic.